Hello everyone! In this tutorial we explain how to correctly install PyTorch GPU version in Python on a Windows computer and how to test the installation. This tutorial is based on installing PyTorch GPU in a virtual Python environment. However, everything explained here can be generalized to other methods of running Python, such as for example running Python by using Anaconda. To install PyTorch with GPU capabilities, you have to have a relatively recent GPU capable of running CUDA. So let's immediately start. The first step is to open Windows Command Prompt. To do that, click over here and search for Command Prompt. Then click over here and expand this window. The next step is to verify that Python is installed on your computer and that Python is recognized by Windows Command Prompt. That is, we have to make sure that Python executable files are in the Windows path. First of all, type where Python. And over here, if you see the response and the correct path to the Python executable file, this means that the Python is installed and Python is in Windows path. Then, the next step is to double check that the GPU card is detected by the system. To do that, we need to write this very nice program and you can run it by executing NVIDIA-SMI. And here it is. So let's analyze the response. So here is the response. This is the NVIDIA-SMI version. You can see the driver version. You can see the current CUDA version that's running. And over here, you can see my GPU. It's RTX 2060 NVIDIA. Okay, next. This means basically that we have our GPU installed on our system and that the system is able to recognize it. If you don't see this, then there is some issue with your drivers. The next step is actually to create our Python environment. So let's learn how to do that. I will go to my root folder and then I will go to my codes folder. And in my codes folder, I will create a new folder called test PyTorch. However, you can also choose any folder name and you can place your folder anywhere. In this folder, we are going to create a Python virtual environment and inside of that environment, we are going to install PyTorch. This is a very good practice when installing and running Python programs. Namely, you can create a virtual environment and you can completely customize the packages that are installed in that environment. And there will be no conflicts between different environments and base Python environment and something else that you're doing in this virtual environment. Virtual environments are very good for testing programs and for testing new packages. Okay. To create the environment, type this Python with the option M. VNV means that we want to create the environment and I will call this environment, environment one. Here be patient. Let's see the content of the folder and we can see the environment folder. So let's navigate to that folder to see what's happening over there. Of course, over here you have some folders and some scripts that define your environment. Good. Let's go one step back. That is, let's go to our workspace folder called test PyTorch. The next step is actually to activate this environment. To activate this environment, you actually need to execute one of the files from the scripts folder. So to do that, you need to actually specify a relative path to that file. So that file is in the environment folder, then the, it is in scripts folder and the name of the file is activate.bat and here it is. So once I execute this command you can see that we are currently in our virtual Python environment. So everything we install in this environment will not affect the base Python installation and this is a nice feature of virtual environments. Next we need to install PyTorch. Consequently, go to this website that explains how PyTorch should be installed and over here you should find this table. This table will tell you everything and it will give you an instruction and a command that you need to execute to install PyTorch. 
So let's select here stable version, let's click on Windows, let's click on PIP, click on Python and over here you have several Q CUDA versions. Now let's go back over here and see what's written over here. We can see that our current CUDA version is 12.2. However, over here we see that we don't have that version over here, but that's not a big problem because I tested my GPU for all of these versions and it works perfectly. So over here I will click here and I simply need to execute this command. Over here, here be very careful. Now, if you click here on CPU, you're going to install PyTorch CPU version and you don't want to do that. So make sure that this option is selected then simply copy this command, go back to your terminal, go over here and simply paste that command. And now you have to be patient since this might take several minutes. PyTorch is at least several GBs big. So be patient over here. This will take some time. And you see what's happening, collecting, collecting. And now the installation process will start and you will see the progress soon over here. And after several minutes, installation process will be completed. But before I explain how to write our first program, let's first verify one thing. Go back to the Explorer and go to your workspace folder. Here it is. Here is our environment folder. And that's precisely the folder that you can see over here. Let me show you one thing. If you do right click and you click on properties, you can see how big is this folder. It's actually 5 GB. And this is very important. Once I complete the whole demonstration, I will erase this folder since it consumes a lot of space on your disk. Okay, so let's go back to our terminal and let's create our first Python program. I will use Notepad to create our first Python program. So I will type Notepad. Let's call test PyTorch the file and let's give the extension Py. And here click on yes. Now over here, let me just increase the font size such as you can nicely see what I'm typing. Good. Let me increase this window and let's start. Let's import PyTorch. You import PyTorch by typing import torch. Okay. Then let's try to detect device. So click device equals to torch dot device. And then let's write this. So over here, I will write CUDA and then if torch dot CUDA dot is available else CPU. Okay, so what will happen right now, we will test if Torch CUDA is available returns 1 or 0. If it returns 1, this means that CUDA is detected, that is, you were able to install a GP version, GPU version of PyTorch. Otherwise, you were not able and you have a CPU version of PyTorch. And then over here, let's write this, print, and then type this thing inside. Over here we will do F under quotes using device and let's type like this device. Okay so let's save this and let's see what will happen. So I will minimize it. I will go back over here and know that you can still keep this thing on. That is this window can be on running Notepad since you saved this file and let's execute Python test pi torch with the extension pi. So let's see what will happen. Okay, using device CUDA and this is very good, which means that we are actually using CUDA. Now let's go back to this file and let's continue. Okay. Let's continue by giving device number and let's write down like this. It's basically torch.cuda.current 
device. This function will actually return the number of our current device. It can be 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And let's just print the current device. Let's do it like this. Current device number is, and let's just print it out over here, dev number, and that's it. Okay, and finally, let's see if Python and PyTorch are able to actually detect the name of our GPU. So let's type this, the device name is torch.cuda, cuda.get device name, and over here we just need to pass the device number, and this will give us the device name. Okay, perfect. And let's now print it out. To print out our device name, let's do this, print, and over here, let's do F, GPU name is, and let's simply print the device name. And close the parentheses. Parentheses. Okay, let's save this, go back over here and just repeat the command and let's see what will happen. And here it is. Using device CUDA, current device number is 0 and GPU name is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super. Good. This means that we, we were able to properly install and test PyTorch. Okay, let's deactivate this environment and let's now clean this file, let's close this, let's go over here, and let's erase this folder since this is just installation demonstration. Of course, you don't need to erase this folder if you want to use PyTorch. However, I will erase since this is just a demonstration folder. So I will click delete and Windows will automatically delete everything there. Okay, here I need to basically close one of the windows since I'm still actually using a file from this folder and we'll click try again and it will be completely erased. Okay, that's all for today. Thank